Hi and welcome. We're going to take a look at a minuet, minuet in A, by Elisabetta de Gabarini. Not a composer I knew. It's so wonderful to discover new composers when you open up new syllabuses. And this piece is on the ABRSM Grade 2 syllabus for 2021 and 2022. It's piece A2. And this is a tutorial video made at the request of Harshini, who is learning this one. It's really pretty. It's got a beautiful tune over the top and an accompaniment bass line underneath. Before we dive in and look at it, should we just remind ourselves of how it goes? I'll play it through without any repeats, just straight through. It's a very elegant piece, isn't it? Let's split it up to hand separately first of all. Let's take the right hand, which clearly has the tune. Um, and we're told that Elisabetta de Gavarini was a singer. So I think when she wrote this, she was thinking of singing it. So when we're practicing it, just sing along with yourself. Can you sing the tune? And that'll help you work out how best to phrase it, where to take little breaks and so on. We have three beats in the bar. We have three sharps, we're in A major, and by all means, please do a scale and arpeggio to start off with, but now, let's just think it through slowly. One, two, three. So we've got things straight away. Try and avoid that initial rhythm. It's not that, it's not da ba ba bum, but hold on to the C sharp till the very last minute. And then it's a very gentle little decoration back to the C sharp. And that ornament is called an appoggiatura, a lean. So we, a bit of lean on the B before we arrive more quietly onto the A. There's some awkward stretches in that bit. Let's just look at those two bars again. Up to the fifth, I think, probably, which means fourth and fifth there, which is awkward. Our fourth and fifth fingers don't work so well. A lift off that A, no accent on the A, but it's the end of the phrase, a lift off, and then. the answering four bar phrase. Ah, oh, there's a lot in there as well. Let's just go slowly and break it up. So here, at the start of this bar, I know it says an A in the music, but we're gonna decorate it. So in fact, we're gonna hit the B at the moment at the start of that bar. Here it is again. And that last note is the second beat. One, two. One, two, and then we're into the quavers. And that big stretch. Can I do an octave lower? Okay. So there's just a constant flow of notes there. You'll need to steadily work out what's going on. Let me play that phrase. Two, three. And work out what is on what beat. Let me count it through for you. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's move on. Second half. Rest. 
again, do, 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 very precise. Ah, oh, we have a triplet rhythm in there. There's a lot in this piece. It's a difficult grade two piece, definitely. Triplets, hmm, triplets. If I'm, let me play A major for a minute. With one note to a beat. You get the idea. Let's do two notes to a beat. Let's do three notes to a beat. I just did that little decoration at the end so that it ended in the right place. So that feeling of three notes to a beat. And then for this particular decoration, I'm really feeling the beats on the D, the B and the G. Sorry. And your hand is right up in, really in the keyboard there because that's where we need to be in order to play these notes with those fingers. And if your fingers are feeling a bit weak, and if you're feeling very brave, <laughs> this is a great exercise, I'll just show you. Watch the green display carefully. Hold that note. Get the other notes to sound. Hold that one. Something like that, holding one note and then sounding the others. I did them slightly detached then. It's even more difficult if you make them smooth. That one will be difficult. It takes a few seconds, but working that out meticulously will really help strengthen your fingers. So that bar, bar 11. And don't be in any rush for those, um, those triplets. Two, off, one, two, off. Change of hand to position, scale. Those last four bars are very reminiscent of bars two and three, aren't they? Again, lots of fourth finger, fifth finger, third finger, and again, lots of black keys. So our hand is right in there towards the backboard of the piano, of the keyboard. Toward that sigh at the end, loud, slightly less. Now let me just play through the entire right hand and uh, you can think about all those things that we've been discussing. No repeats. One, two, three. Meanwhile, the left hand is doing a classic being a cello, being a bassoon, accompanying that with a line of music. No, there's no chords here, are there? Except for that little, little extra note at the end. It's just a line of music, a bass line that supports the harmony, supports the, the singer. Um, I think we'll probably pretty much just run it straight through. Let's have a listen. One, two, three.
and that's important. That note is important because it tells us that we're heading towards B. We're effectively hearing that you can't hear it other. We're hearing that sound. And that's the note that it's a leading note that pulls us to E. Let's look at the second half. Two, three. So the fingering there, what I did, I stretched up from the E to the third finger. I, I did the fourth, fifth, you could do third, fourth, whatever suits. Rest. These, these arpeggios, nice relaxed wrist. And notice how my hands is moving, just subtly, not contrived, not deliberate, but just Allow your hand to move if it wants to. Yeah, a little finger swap there would probably be good. Two, or four, three. Two, three. For the last time. And I there played it quite smoothly, didn't I? I linked things up. You could play things slightly detached if you feel like it, but Imagine you're playing a cello, and I think if you were changing bow accompanying a singer, you'd want to keep it basically fairly linked up, I think, rather than rather than detached. Let me now play them through slow, it's a slow piece anyway, isn't it? But I'll deliberately go even more slowly and that uh, we can see how they link up together. Okay, so I'm thinking one, two, three, quiet. Lean. That one off and then a short A before the next phrase. That would be where the singer breathes, wouldn't it? So let me finish that phrase again. But more. And those four bars, there's a lot going on. Don't panic if you're thinking, oh, oh, too much going on there. Just slow it down. Let me play that phrase again. Two, three. Now let's take a look at the second half. It's a lovely piece to work through. Harshini, I hope that was useful. Um, spit it into small chunks. Um, go slowly and work out exactly what's going on. Make sure things are lined up correctly. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section down below. Take care. Bye-bye for now.